soft, a lot, lot different, very different type of roll on the ball. Carol Giannotti flat behind the ball, Denny, versus Michelle Mullen on the side of the ball. Remember the last shot on lane 63. Now watch the arm swing here. Keep in mind, this is the tight lane. This is the one she went Brooklyn. <laughs> For all those fans at home, how many times you really know you pull the ball. Now let's see if she trusts it now on this shot. Well, Better shot. Moved in a little bit deeper as well. Better shot. You watch the arm swing this time, it's right straight through the target. But see, that's what that, that's what that tightness will do. See, because you know if you leak it a little right, you're, you're liable to miss the head pin. Well, it's fine tuning, feeling like you have just one or two boards to hit. And as you mentioned, right on line, beautiful. Boy, oh, was that a classy shot. Diane and Mark Voigt, co-proprietors here at Chippewa Bowl, and uh, Mark will be presenting the trophy to the winner of this year's Brunswick Open. Boy, those two people have really done a lot for the Ladies Pro Bowlers Tour. They have over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, Very supportive. Bowl at their center in Detroit, Satellite Bowl. It was always a fun tournament. Didn't they bowl the Queens there one year? I've never bowled the Queens there, no. Oh, U.S. Open. That's what it was. It was the okay. U.S. Open. I knew it was a major championship. And right now, Michelle Mullen is bowling like a player who wants to win a championship here this evening. Four bagger, she leads by 30. And Carol Giannotti just can't maintain pace. Well, right now, Michelle Mullen could shoot 279. Carol Giannotti, 249 is the best that she could post. If someone does that to you, there's not much else you can do. <laughs> was left from the very beginning and that's trouble. It's one of the first shots we have seen gone high on lane 63 other than Carol Giannotti's Brooklyn. Come on. All you heard was, come on, which means, all right, let's get up, get the count, forget about the shot, and let's move on to our next opportunity. A new life for Carol Giannotti. Michelle Mullen still could shoot 244, but you're right, a strike here, and all of a sudden, this match turns around completely. Bingo. Oh. Michelle's leading by 30, heading down the stretch, gliding to a win, one bad shot, and it's a five-pin match. Carol Giannotti getting the break, Denny, when she got that Brooklyn strike. She was on a strike, so that turned out to be a double. What a turnaround this game has been. Got to believe this is the critical shot of the week for Carol Giannotti on the tighter lane, 63. Again, doesn't get it back, Denny. That's what's so fascinating, so exciting about this game is that they can just turn so quickly. Now, scenario exactly the opposite from the semifinal game. Michelle Mullen gets to shoot in the ninth frame on 64. She's got to finish on the tough lane, 63, just like Leanne Barrett. And it appears Carol Giannotti has 64. Oh, yeah. Very well, very yeah, well. I think if she needs a strike or two on the right-hand lane to win, I think she can throw it on the right-hand lane. You bet. One at a time, though, is you always have to look. First shot here in the ninth is the key right now. She leads by six pins, Michelle Mullen. Boy, big shot here. Really got a handful. That was really a nice shot to set up the 10th string. Very confident on lane 64. Now can she hit 63? Look at the scoreboard. She can shoot 244. Carol Giannotti, 228. A good look at the scoreboard. And Carol is not going to watch the proceedings, I don't think. Strike and eight pins. She's the winner. 
Good shot. Oh, she wanted it to hit, and it did. Big shot. Very impressive for being lane 63. Very impressive. She's mm. looking in the scoreboard. She confirmed that she needed eight pins. I'll tell you what, eight is not a guarantee on this lane if you don't make a good shot. <laughs> she left seven in the eighth frame. You're not kidding, and she couldn't make a spare out of them. Just do it. You can hear her say, just do it. Ball gets awful heavy for a title. from Michelle Mullins. Oh, wow. Oh. She's got a bowl again. She says, oh, wow. Oh. That's right. One more shot. She's the winner. Really a very, very entertaining exhibition of professional bowling by the ladies tonight. you got to feel bad for Carol Giannotti. But on the other hand, you have to feel great. For Michelle Muller. It's been a good year and a half since this lady has won yeah. an event. She said it had been weighing on her mind. Carol Giannotti, the top seed, was looking to, as she told me, gain a bit of my confidence back with a win tonight. She bowled a very solid game, but just ran into a player that shot 244. Yes, she did. She left a four pin there in the sixth frame. And Seven pin in the ninth frame. Just got the the one Brooklyn, but other than, she's going to shoot a two seventeen here if she strikes. Real good game from the top seed position. Just not quite enough tonight for a player who won three consecutive matches in the championship round. Michelle Mullen. She defeated Diana Teeters 221 to 202. Then she had a very tough match against Leanne Barrett, which she won 247 to 32. And now she shoots 244 in the title match. Well, we talked about the advantage that that whether Michelle Mullen or Leanne Barrett were going to have yeah. it over Carol Giannotti. No question. I, I just thought that they had a little bit more lane tonight, both on 63 and 64. So Michelle Mullen finally jumps back into the winner's circle with mom and sis looking on here at Chippewa Bowl. When we come back, we'll chat with Michelle Mullen.